Hello everyone, this is Robert. Ever since I started making videos with my Prusa XL, I've gotten the same question over and over. Should I buy a Prusa XL or should I buy a Bamboo X1C? And my answer has pretty much always been the same thing. What are you trying to print? What are you trying to accomplish? Which one do you need? And so in this video, what I want to cover is exactly that topic. If you're looking at this as kind of an in-depth print comparison, you're probably going to be disappointed. That is not going to be the point of this video. They are very different machines that have very different specializations. So that's what I want to cover in this video is what each one of these printers does well, or more importantly, what each one of these printers does uniquely. So let's start by talking about the Bamboo X1C. As the hobby 3D printing industry continues to mature, we're seeing a bit of a move away from just sheer print quality and reliability, more towards this idea of specialization and features and capabilities. In the case of the Bamboo X1C, they introduced the concept of high-speed prototyping, versatility, and an enclosed printer that can pretty much do just about anything. Something like a Bamboo X1C is going to be a great daily driver. It's going to do just about everything that you would want to do, and it's going to do it relatively well, and it's going to do it relatively fast. So we need to look at these things as uh, core competencies or the value proposition, and that's really what the Bamboo brings to the table. Most printers are going to be fairly reliable. Most printers are going to have pretty good print quality, but what the Bamboo does differently is high-speed printing and also the versatility of the enclosure and the ability to kind of do just about whatever you're looking to do. Now, if we compare that to the Prusa XL, we can see that the XL has two main differentiators. With the XL, it's all about size and the tool changer. The XL has a substantially larger build volume than the X1C or any of the bamboo printers. So if you just need to print larger objects, maybe the XL is a good choice. However, there are a lot of other larger format printers out there, but the XL is pretty good for a large printer. But the big thing about the XL is the tool changer. The Bamboo can use the AMS, which you can allow to switch between like PLA, PETG, things like that. But the XL takes it one step further that allows you to print completely dissimilar materials at the exact same time. You want to print like nylon carbon fiber alongside TPU in the same print, it can do that. And the other nice thing about the tool changer is it doesn't substantially add to the print time the way the bamboo does. If you start doing a, you know, four or five or six or eight uh, material print on the bamboo, it will make your print time skyrocket, even with the speed of the machine, just due to the way the um, filament switching is done. On the XL, you get almost no waste and it doesn't really change the time all that much. So if you need the larger volume and if you need that tool changer for the dissimilar materials, the XL is definitely the better option. In my opinion, if you're new to 3D printing or you're going to be buying your first 3D printer and you're not really sure how it's going to be fitting into your workflow, I think the Bamboo is the way to go. It's going to do most of the things that you want it to do. However, if you're more of an advanced user and you want to do some of these more crazy things or you have the size requirement, I think the XL might be a better choice. It just depends on what you need to do. If you need either of those features for the XL, the larger build volume or the tool changer for switching dissimilar type materials, the XL is really the only game in town. It's the only thing on the market that's really gonna do that effectively. But if you don't need either of those options, I don't think the XL is the right printer. It is not the right printer to get if you're gonna get one tool head and you just need the extra size. If you're not getting all five tool heads with the XL, I don't think it's really the way to go. I've got the extra three tool heads on order and I should have those by the time I'd make my next video. Even two tool heads on the XL doesn't really unlock the full potential of the machine. And there's plenty of other larger format options if you just need the larger size. But if you need the larger size and you need five tool heads for switching between TPU, nylon, carbon fibers, abrasives, all that, the XL is just the only game in town. For everyone else, I think the Bamboo is the right choice. So I'm going to go out on a limb and use a car analogy. I'm not exactly a car guy, but I think this will kind of put it into more perspective for a lot of people. 
So I see the bamboo kind of like a modern EV. Think of it like a Tesla sedan. It has all of the touchscreens, all the fancy bells and whistles. It's something that you can kind of show off to your friends. It's fast, it's nimble, it gets you from point A to B, all of that good stuff. Something like the XL is kind of more like a pickup truck. It's a little bit more utilitarian, and when you need it, you need it, and there's no other way around it. If you need to move a couch, good luck fitting that into your EV sedan. It's just not gonna happen. So if you need to do something kind of wacky, like print a large object with TPU, PETG, carbon fiber, and different filaments all throughout it, the XL is gonna be the only thing that's gonna do that. There is no substitute for moving that couch, right? You're just not gonna fit a couch in the trunk of a sedan. And that's kind of the big difference. You either need a truck or you don't need a truck. If you don't need a pickup truck, then you don't get the pickup truck. If you just need the sedan that is the most versatile for going to work, commuting, getting groceries, then the sedan's gonna be the right fit for most people. But if you need that pickup truck, you need it. And that's the end of the story. So I think the last thing that we kind of have to talk about, the elephant in the room, is price. There is a substantial price difference between these two printers. Now, I really don't want to go into that much detail here because we all know what the price is on these machines. It comes down to everything I was saying up until this point. Do you need those features, yes or no? If you don't need those features, then the XL is horrendously overpriced and a terrible, awful value because you don't need those things. If you do need them, then it's just up to you to figure out if that is the right value for you. Can you outsource them for cheaper? Is there some other manufacturing technique that you can do to get that down cheaper? But if that's something that's preventing you from making a product or building a product or manufacturing it in a certain way, that actually might be a fantastic value and a fantastic deal to you. It all comes down to what you're willing to pay for those features. So yeah, I don't know, this has been kind of a bit of a strange video for me, but I did get that question a lot, and it's kind of a complicated question, XL or X1C. It's like, should I get a pickup truck or should I get an EV sedan? I don't know, what do you need it for? So I think this is kind of the big difference between these machines. The XL, if you don't need the tool changer and you're gonna buy an XL with one tool head, don't do it. Don't do it. There's no point in doing that. There's a lot of other larger format printers that will give you similar or the same results. So the Prusa XL just as a single tool head machine doesn't really make sense. As a five tool head machine, it absolutely makes sense. But then the cost is something that you need to consider. Is that cost worth it for those extra capabilities? But that's kind of my two cents. I think the bamboo is going to be the printer for most people, unless you need those extra little features or uh, specialities that the XL brings. But overall, I'm actually very interested to see where we're gonna go in the future. I predict that in the next few years, we're gonna have a much greater specialization in the 3D printer market. You're seeing like that Elegoo Gigastorm come out that was like, you know, the three foot by three foot by three foot printer. I think we're gonna to start to see different categories. Like right now we have resin and FDM. We're gonna to start to see large format printers. We're gonna to start to see high temperature printers. We're gonna to start to see high speed prototyping printers. And we're gonna to start to see these different markets. And I think that's gonna make it easier to say, oh, this large format versus an entry level bed slinger, well, they're completely different. And that's kind of how I'm seeing the bamboo and the Prusa XL is they're just very different products for very different purposes. So the comparison becomes a little complicated and makes me make this video. So as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. 